Well, hello everybody. Hi, my lovelies. How you guys doing? <laughs> well, it's about 4 a.m. So we about an hour out of the witch's hour. And I was up doing a little studying. You know, we had to go to the Book of Sun worship. Because, you know, that's what you do. Well, you got to attack something at the root. You got to go to the root. So I had to go to the root. Look into this little sun worship and figure out. Why does thou not allow a witch to live? Why is that? Why is that? And doing the research. The answer isn't rightfully clear. And it's not rightfully clear because there are instances in this same book. Well, I mean, if we look at it, Jesus himself was a mystic. But looking at it from that standpoint, you could say that God sent him down here because he was a mystic and he found mystics to be detestable. If we're going to go with that line of reasoning, that's just a line of thought. I wouldn't say I necessarily subscribe to that, but it is an idea that I intend to ponder and study more. And then, I came up on this scripture. I came up on, I was reminded of, and I remember this song, and it was like, Amen, praise the Lord, Amen, praise the Lord, glory, hallelujah, something, and then it says, Suffer he the little children come unto me. Suffer he the little children come unto me. And for these them not for such as them for such as these kingdom them happen. Anyway, the scripture said So this is what occurred. Jesus was out doing what Jesus do, which was teach. And while Jesus was teaching, these children ran up to him, and as they were approaching him, the other adults around were trying to keep him away. Y'all know how we do. We doing something. Get your kids, make them sit the hell down, and shut the hell up while we doing what we doing. So essentially, that was, that's what was happening. And Jesus said. No, do not deny them access to me. For you must be childlike in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. And see, when I think about childlike and entering the kingdom of heaven, I often look at my own children because they are but teachers themselves in their existence. And I notice how kind and tender that their hearts are. And I more specifically zeroed in on my son while I was doing this practice and For those of you who don't know, my son has autism. And so, the way he perceives the world is slightly different than most people who perceive the world. And he 
never really quite understood when other children were being malicious to him. And these children are but an extension of their parents. <laughs> it's so sad how we corrupt God's children. And um, it is a childlike innocence. They grants you access to the kingdom. And so we compare the child to the witch. And we see, and I'm exploring y'all, we see in the Old Testament as the Israelites were coming out of Egypt and they are currently in the wilderness and this is where they started to get the law during the exodus okay and the exodus fiery and during the exodus there were many rules and laws and things given this is where they get the Ten Commandments now, when it came to social etiquette, it said that you shouldn't allow the witch to live. So, it was like, why? And I'm still exploring the theory of why the witch should not be allowed to live. But there were many magicians and types of divination that were allowed by God. So clearly there is a distinction between some of these practices and that of a sorcerer, a sorcerer or a witch. It seems that the witch operates solely off the power of Satan, which is depicted as the nemesis of God in biblical text. So, I'm still kind of curious as to exactly what these distinctions are. Still researching and studying. But, we're going to figure it out. <clears throat> and with that being said, the innocence of a child is a thing of purity, okay? It's a lot of innocence that we adults tend to use because, you know, we become jaded by life as we uh, journey through it. Something that children haven't yet experienced. Now, I'll say this. Me personally, myself. Y'all hear me say ever so often. I don't like children. <laughs> and it's not that I have an actual problem with them. It is that there is a responsibility that comes with bringing a child up. Because later on, in the text, when you find out, I believe it was in Proverbs, it says that when I was a child, I spoke as a child. 
when I became an adult, I put childish things away. And there is a level of immaturity that children also have along with their innocence, in which you were there for is to guide them through their immaturity. But at the same time, attempt to help maintain their innocence. And for the most part, my children have been able to maintain their innocence. And for that, I pat myself on the back. I think that's good parenting on my part. But why shouldn't the witch live? Hmm. Well, if you have something that is going to create strife and hardships inside of your community, then you should get rid of it. <laughs> but it is currently just a going theory. That I'm currently looking into. And. Coming out of the witch's hour. Into the hour of spirit. I told y'all this several times before. The hours of four to. Well two hours before sunrise. Because you know we had a time change and everything. But. Two hours before the sun rises is the darkest part of night. And so, going into these spiritual hours, we go into deep contemplation about things, meditation, and exploration of thoughts, repenting those things that need to be cleared away, exercising those things that need to die. And Thou shall not suffer a witch to live. But let the little children come unto me. Let the little children enter the kingdom. Let them have access to all the things of abundance and growth. So I speak healing and I speak protection over those lives that need protection and healing as they come into the realm of the physical. Touch not those children or those anointed ones that carry them. For if you do, you shall die. And as it is spoken, so shall it be. And let it be so. <laughs> Interesting enough. I have to contemplate this. For the simple fact that. There was a spiritual attack. Placed upon my child. This is not the first time someone has attempted to bring harm to me through my children. It is a very unfortunate thing for these people when they play these games because It's just unfortunate. <sighs> Under this same law, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, and a life for a life. Well, how many lives have you taken? And how many of those lives have been the lives of children? And for this, you must pay and swift, no, long 
and painful retribution shall come because there is retribution for each one of those lies and you will die as many times as the lies that you took and as it is spoken so shall it be And on that note, find you some mercy, for I have none to give. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. And that is what we're going to take with us into the day of the sun. May the conviction of the sun burn restitution into your soul. You wretched, wicked bitch. (laughs) And as it is spoken, so shall it be. And y'all stay dark and lovely while spreading your love and light.